I think one of the great joys about growing your own food and plants in general is you get to experiment with different crops. Uh, so we've got quite a few different crops here that we've never grown before. So some of the unusual varieties we've got, we've got black eyed peas, which is actually a bean. Uh, we've got peanuts, and I'm not sure anyone's grown peanuts in Tasmania before. We're going to trial peanuts, see how they grow. Uh, we've got chickpeas, which are more like a subtropical type of uh, plant. Um, we've got all our various types of pumpkins. We've got uh, five varieties of pumpkins here. We've got three varieties of zucchinis, a yellow, a green, and a Lebanese zucchini. We've got things like um, bell peppers, we call them capsicums in Australia. Um, we've got things like um, jalapenos. Um, okay, uh, and we've got some, some of the stuff over here. We've got a few different types of tomatoes. We've got a Tasmanian bread tomato here, which is a really, going to be a really good one we haven't tried before. Uh, we've got um, milling corn, which is a corn, dent corn that's grown for, to be a, um, ground down to powder to make, to make corn flour out of. We've got a couple of different types of lentils that we've never grown before. And uh, we've also got some sunflowers, which are really good for uh, feeding the chickens with the sunflower seeds. So we're going to grow quite a few rows of sunflowers. And the last thing that we're growing this year that we haven't grown before is uh, soybeans. So we've got soy soybeans planted there. So it's really interesting when you experiment with different crops and just see how they go in different conditions.